everybody the 2.6 special live stream is about to start i almost stumbled there uh i was in a rush but we're gonna start it off don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff we're here let's get into it baby let's see what we got we just got the ting yoon stuff announced just a little bit ago so i'm pretty excited for that Ooh, okay hi rappa we've arrived petticoat Paperfold University. What? With a recent rise in tourists visiting Penacody, could you share some tips for out-of-town visitors who want to explore the campus? Down in front? Forget you. I just got here myself, and I've still got a mission to complete. Bye, Albert. Color your dreams, free your ideals. Paperfold University soon. Okay. The gold That's not... wind ensemble has won the Penacony's instrumental competition for twenty. So we're going back years. to Penacony then. Mr. Lekka, the renowned director, is here in person to mentor us. Oh, we welcome you to join the drama society. Oh, I love the drama come society. On. Come all and don't miss out. Excuse me. What are you doing? Oh, right. Uh, Albert, have you heard of the Slumber Nana Association? <laughs> They're looking for new members. You should check it out. <laughs> the oh, Slumber Nana. Hey, it's Rappa. Uh, the thirst for knowledge is what drives students at Paperfold University. What do you want to get out of attending Paperfold University? What is this whole Paperfold University thing? I guess I never really thought about it, but all my friends enrolled, so I thought I might as well too. Dude, is what in the hell? Question. Mark my words. I will claim the 85th seat in the Genius Society. And I, <laughs> seriously, all you do is talk big. Did you even attend Dr. Ratio's open lecture? And did you actually get that exchange spot at University of Veritas Prime? No. <laughs> A genius like me could never be understood by the likes of you, Mundanites. <sighs> what is this? For this very reason, we arranged an ex Okay. Hey, Dr. Dr. Ratio. Ratio. How do you feel about the fact that many students are hoping you'll take on the role of guest lecturer at Paperfold University? <sighs> University of Veritas Prime now offers online courses. With so many ways to pursue education, insisting on guest lectures could be seen as nothing more than self-indulgence. I want to see the trailer already because we're going to back. We're going to Penacony. Like it's it's. Stop. Paperfold University is here. Second, I don't fully understand your area of research, but I have a few simple questions. Now let's shift our focus back to the beautiful natural. Excuse me. This is way too fast. University have it's way too freaking fast. That you'd recommend? No, no, no. Oh, it seems this student isn't too Brace monkey. about dietary matters. <clears throat> we embrace the monkey. So what are some must-visit spots at Paperfold University? Right. All right. Are we getting to a trailer now? Let's go. Trailer time, baby. Let's see it. Atos, take your positions. Three, two, one. Is that Zhang Li? Was that Zhang Li? Who was that? And then we got Rappa, okay. Huh. The power of Ninjutsu here is quite dead. I shall unleash the vibrant colors of death and Ninjutsu. I think Rappa looks cool. Like her whole her whole thing is dope. Like that weapon is really sick. But I don't know about the erudition thing. We can never break free of its encapsulation. What is going on here? Finally. All preparations leading up to the climax are in place. Let us welcome the beatific final act. Robin on the turntables? Let's go. And we got Boot Hill coming back. Okay, okay. I can dig that. Robin becomes a DJ is going to be the sickest thing from this. So the decision is yours to make. Dazzling Ninja reporting for duty. Okay, the trailer's cool. That trailer was dope. We got our first code. Okay, trailer? 
Uh, not bad. I'm interested in the story of it because it just seems, it seems like a one-off story, obviously. And I'm pretty sure it is, especially when we're going with the next update and stuff like that. But I'm really wanting to know who that guy is. I want to know why he looks like Zhongli. I don't know what this song is, but it's dope. Oh yeah, story looks good. Um, or looks like a filler story. Rappa looks dope. I would say like with the, I'm, I really want to know what her abilities are. That's the main thing. Like I'm not a fan of the erudition path. I don't think a lot of people are. I think the only good thing for erudition is literally just pure fiction. So. Why is Albert in a beanie? Program. It's your avian buddy Albert, aka Blue King here to got you. Blue King. I'm Hoda. Veritas Ratio at your service. Veritas Ratio. I am the dazzling ninja, aka Rapper. Once again, it's oh, Mori Calliope, everybody. Yes. But don't say that to the Hollow Live people, because they're freaked the fuck out on us. I thought this was supposed to be an academic seminar. Why is it so chaotic again? I'd say there's not much difference between Penacone's indulgences and its academic pursuits. Mm -hmm. The campus is full of performances, graffiti, and even ninjas. That's right. I myself am a ninja. <sighs> Never mind. Ninja. <sighs> Albert, can you explain why we come back to Penacone again? <coughs> Actually, this time. Uh... Penacone's Paperfold University has extended an invitation. Yeah, well, we haven't to been to Bellabog in a while. I just realized that. Or at least it feels that way. For a new semester and its anniversary Thank God there's still VAs on the live stream. I agree. Occasion, the university is preparing to hold a truly special academic seminar. As celebrities and shareholders of Penacone. The crew of the Astral Express has been invited by the university to attend the event as distinguished guests. I'm just so confused as to what is happening with it. Why are we going to a university? We just got an invite. Why is it every time we get an invite to Penacone somewhere, it's just weird? According to legend, Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. So I'm guessing we're going to get a Robin rerun? Or no, we already got a Robin rerun. Boot Hill rerun? Glocks Avenue in Golden Hour was also named after this former dean. Maybe a Dr. Ratio rerun as well? A school is unlike those of the real world. Imagination can be brought to life in dreams, giving Paperfold University a unique edge in its teaching methods. Dean Glocks hope that this university will provide a more open, free, and imaginative curriculum supplying the cosmos with innovative minds. So today, we have the honor of welcoming the cosmic singer and a famous paper Robin. alumna, Ms. Robin, to share with the audience all there is to know. Robin is a university graduate. Good to know. What is this? Like, it's cute. It's cute, but can we just get... I, I have no words. I have no words what... I have no words to what this is. Like, it's, it's cute, but I think it's, even just this has gone on long enough.
you want people to read this. But at... Is it... Okay, so for me, I feel like I, I understand what they were going for, but during a live stream, people don't want to just, like, read the entire time. Like, they want to be able to actually, like, hear what's going on. I feel like this is just a cop-out. I feel... I feel like they did this because maybe Robin's VA was on that strike. I don't know. I'm just I'm just speculating at this point. This is just this ain't it. This ain't it. At Dream's Edge. It's a bit of a deconstructivist agricultural experiment. And Fortune Academy specializing okay. Where many graduates are offered the chance to be involved with Pentaconi's economic affairs. The IPC also conducts campus recruitment at Paperfold University. I knew that. In our IPC Paperfold University group, about 80% graduate from Fortune Academy. Some even... Have... What? What is the point of this? Actually, the academic research at Fortune Academy is quite remarkable. For example, how ships in Soul Glad's Listen, I think that this is going to be awesome, but at the same time, we need to get past this part. This is annoying. so incredibly frustrated are you still saying thank god there's VAs in this because there isn't really Why is this still happening? I'm like actually frustrated at this. This is, this is a huge miss. The uh, Robin VA is missing. Yeah, I guess that that's why they went this, but this is just they could have done something completely different, dude. God, dude. Oh my God. University. Why didn't you delete that last time? Could you please stop using me as a sacrificial lamb? That No need to worry. Oyoverse, do not do that again. Let's focus on paper. Do not do that again. That was the bird noises are fine in small amounts, but that was terrible. Banana I love you, Hoyoverse, but don't do that. Ninja and humanity, the Trailblazer will enter Panacone's Paperfold University as an auditing student to experience the joy of campus life. Not only will you be classmates with March 7th and Don Hung, but you'll also make new friends along the way. 
Ah, now you've piqued my curiosity. I wonder which academy the Trailblazer will be placed in. Since they're a festive superstar of Prenacanny, they should attend Charmony Academy. Or since the Trailblazer is now the captain of the Radiant Herb Spa, and that's what it was. Prenacanny shareholder. They'll end up in fortune. Okay, I'm I'm I am i am just really glad that we're back to the VA stuff because honestly this is more enjoyable. This is way more enjoyable. I'm sorry. That was such a miss, man. Given the trailblazer's personality, of course they'll make their own choice. Rumor has it, this year's Academy tuning test will be different from previous years. With Miss Dureka, the famous director and guest professor at Paperfold University, acting as the examiner. Mm, that's right. Mr. Rekka is famous across the cosmos. He's the genius behind Soul Shattered Dark Star and has launched the careers of countless major stars okay. in the universe. To reflect Mr. Rekka's so why did it take so long to get to this? This year's tuning test has been turned into an audition. I need to fill some form so about the live stream. Dude, the live so this was not a good not play on that part. Seasoned actor myself. I've always had the dream of becoming one of Mr. Wrecker's lead men. That was legit. Like, mm, so far, 13 minutes of this live stream has been nothing but either the beginning skit or the bird skit. Moreover, during the anniversary, the members of the Sweet Dreams troupe will step in for the teachers, acting as assistant Annas and prop Nanas. Assistant Annas? Prop Nanas? <laughs> Sounds weird. Well, it's just as Miss Robin said earlier. Slumber Nana Monkey has become incredibly, overwhelmingly trendy at Paperfold University. Bananas is the most popular form of communication. Listen, we have university. We have Ting Yun and Sunday. Is this appropriate? We have Sunday and Ting Yun in the next update. And we're having to sit through this update. So far, this is this has been a miss, at least in my opinion. There's usually a mastermind behind such phenomena. Can we truly believe the meteoric rise of Slumber Nana Monkey was entirely natural? When something out of the ordinary happens, Oh my god, we're still talking about the monkey. Oh my god, we're still talking about the monkey. We're still talking about the monkey and this... Soulless and merciless evil ninja Asaru at work. Apes, monkeys, bananas. I feel like the truth isn't too far out of reach. This kind of drivel cannot be permitted to spread any further. Albert, do you have any means to put a stop to it? On oh, I'm point, losing my like to freaking mind. Everyone of something. Remember back in 2.3 when another well-known director, Sparkle, sent the Trailblazer a message? You mean when it said Dr. Primitive actually loves to eat bananas? A masked fool would never reveal information without a twist. They're always playing pranks. Don't worry. This is exactly why I'm here in Penacanny. Silvergun Chira will also be lending me a hand. With the why does she of keep saying Penacanny? It's Penacony. Next up, let's start by watching a video to learn about our new Galaxy Ranger friend, the Dazzling Ninja, a.k.a. Rappa. Let's learn about Rappa, the Galaxy Ranger. Again, her design's cool. I like it. Her attack animation looks like... Okay, yep. I like her color scheme, too. That's her skill. Let's see the ultimate. Okay. Oh, there ain't... That's sick. Okay, that's sick. Good job. That's cool. I don't know... I, I need to know the abilities. That's the biggest thing. The biggest thing for me is at least knowing the abilities. According to my intel, Rappa has always considered herself a ninja. And she attributes everything. Give them your banana world tie. World Not in this Jutsu. update, man. It's as if the world she sees is different from everyone else. Her world is filled with ninjas and ninjutsu. So her entire worldview is fundamentally different from others? No matter. The way of the ninja has many forms, but they all converge in the end. Even if our ways of speaking differ, I am certain we ninjas will understand one another. For instance, I'm not a ninja. When she mentioned the silver gun Shura, 
She was actually referring to Boot Hill. She also calls Dun Hung Ninja Hiryu. And the Trailblazer, the Baseball Bat Ninja. Correct! Can you guess who Ninja Ruri and the Songstress Ninja are? Ruri is referring to March 7th. And I suppose the Songstress Ninja is, is Robin. Miss Robin? Yep. Exactly. Twirling Ninja is truly a master of the air edition. She has already grasped the way of the ninja. Twirling? <coughs> Twirling ninja. Kudu 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 ding. Rappa tends to identify key features of things and then describe them using ninja related terms. <laughs> Basically, she sees everything. It's literally about just taking one thing about them and calling them ninja. Oh. <laughs> By the way, the name Rappa is quite unusual. It doesn't have any special meaning. It means, of all ninjutsu methods, this name suggests my heart shall remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted. This is the way ordained by the Great Ron. In essence, it means wiping out evil and standing up for justice, which is the core belief of the Galaxy Rangers. Mm -hmm. I've heard that Rappa rescued travelers being chased by combat apes, freed experimental test subjects persecuted by evil ninjas, and helped a village that was. I gotta tell you, like, I could, I would probably be more excited for Rappa if Iridition wasn't terrible right now. Really will remain unmoved. And not only that, but the bird thing is still weighing on my mind. I think that drained me. For Rappa's unique way of speaking. <laughs> All will be revealed in the version 2.6 Trailblaze Continuance Mission. Thank oh. you, Snowy Ninja, for your insightful explanation. I am excited to see what destiny holds for this meeting of ninjas at Paperfold University. In getting to know Rappa, you'll undoubtedly notice her strong commitment to justice and a fierce opposition to evil, traits shared by all Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> exactly. You can better understand her mindset through her combat style as oh Rangers come on man once said holy for coroni she's really strong <laughs> <laughs> holy for coroni let's, let's dive into a demonstration of miss rappa's ninjutsu let's go let's when see I this use my technique i entered the graffiti. that's pretty cool actually Simply moving forward attacking any enemies in my path she uses her blade so as a snowboard oh and it leaves a trail all over the place are you sure you didn't pick this up from a certain hacker? That's really is, cool. Is that a skateboard you're standing on? This is a Ningu. Time to unleash a flurry of ninjutsu techniques. That's when really cool, actually. combat in the graffiti state, I reduce the toughness of all enemies irrespective of weakness types. Okay, During that's pretty cool, rapid actually. Rapid skill will inflict imaginary type damage on all enemies. After activating my ultimate, I enter the seal form state. Gain a certain number of chroma ink points and unleash Ningu, Demon Bane, Petal Blade. Aha, a first person combat perspective. Mm -hmm. How utterly unexpected. Well, take a look. The opponent is a new enemy which will appear in version 2.6, the Banacademic Office. It's what? literally just the same enemies that the we had before, but a monkey TV. Publishing academic titles? This is the Green Banana's ultimate combo move. Fear not the approaching foes. The first few hits of Ningu Demon Bane Petal Blade deal imaginary blast damage, and the final hit deals imaginary to all enemies. During seal form, my weakness break efficiency is increased. I'm sorry, I'm what blade? Reduce the toughness of enemies even without imaginary weakness. Check it. Dazzling tags, hidden blades. That's just a tease. Hidden blade. A ninja like me, taking evil is a breeze. Ain't afraid of no enemy. Bring in the heat. Time to show them real skills. It can't be beat. With danger ahead, weakness type ignored. In the dojo, no luck, just power explored. Reduce toughness, cut them down with ease. Every strike I hit brings them to their knees. Uh -huh. wow. <laughs> is this the ninja Oh my god. <laughs> what is this uh, live stream, man? Perfect time. I... We've also invited the famous singer Rail to perform Rappa's PV song, No Dazzle, No Break. This will undoubtedly teach you all what real essence of the ninja. Are they going to play about. the song right now? Can't wait. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I'm like, I'm going to get copyright right now. It's time to take Link, Zhui Yi, and Yu Kong, huh? In version two Dude, that light cone actually looks really, really good, though. That light cone looks so good. 
The limited five-star light cone, ninjutsu inscription, dazzling evil breaker will also have a boosted drop rate. Okay. And just so you all know, Imbibin or Lune rerun. Okay, that's a good that's a good rerun. Lune is returning, and at the same time, that's a good rerun. Five-star light cone brighter than the sun will become available. That's a really good rerun, actually. The four-star light cone dreams montage. Has also been New light cone. It's an abundance light cone. Akron rerun. What? Oh no. HSR is not messing around. Boosted drop rate. The drop rates of the limited. And adventuring. And the limited five star light cone. Inherently unjust. So you're really gonna run in Bibiter Lune, Akron. And Aventurine on this patch when you have Sunday and Ting Yun in the next one. That's insane. Insane. <laughs> what even is going on at this point? I I don't know. I don't know. This is gonna be stuck in my head. I hate it so much. I can't even. I can't even talk about what just happened. Um. So, Imbibitor Lune, Akron, and Aventurine reruns. That's what we got from this. Rappa seems like a skip. I'm. I'm gonna say it now. Now, Lynx is a good character on that banner, but I honestly think that it's just a skip. This stream is brain rot since beginning, 100%. It's been all brain rot. Welcome back. Let's keep showcasing the exciting Okay, we get new uh, text bubbles. That's cool. That text bubble does look cool, though. So what is this? What is this event? Take the music party, for instance, which is being enthusiastically prepared. It's the highlight of the Dreamlight anniversary, where students from different academies will express oh their my dreams God. and vitality through music. In the version of Vent Sound Hunt Ninjutsu Inscription, the Trailblazer can take part in the Dreamlight anniversary music party as the band manager. So we get a music one, okay. Leader, the Dazzling Ninja Hero, a.k.a. Rappa, leading the band in performances. Is there any limit to the Trailblazer's ever-expanding career path? And now, a band manager? Yep, what I guess we are. What does a band manager even do? To create enchanting ninja music that touches the audience. Ninja music. The honorable baseball bat ninja will be lending me a hand in discovering musical inspiration. That's right. Okay, so what what is this going to entail? Around the world, exploring places where peculiar rhythm patterns have appeared and record the unique musical beats. For example, the bird duet at Paperfold University, inputting your responses based on the rhythm and patterns of the music and the birds. Just a heads up, if you accidentally miss a beat, the whole performance might fall apart. <laughs> Time to put the Trailblazer's sense of rhythm to the test. The music party will feature three performances on the central stage. Each with a I, I, I was the thinking it was going to be cool. Is to ensure all three Until shows Until I heard After collecting enough the actual music. Sets, the Trailblazer can arrange and edit the tracks to create a full composition. Once the composition is completed, the background music in the performance scene will change accordingly. Band members <laughs> will take the stage and the lighting and some <laughs> set pieces will move to the rhythm. How do you how do you have to the cosmic beat together? How do you have a patch course, with Akron and Bibiter Lune and Aventurine as reruns? Just be so weird and like musical veterans from the band Mechanical Fever or Miss Robin, a graduate of Charmony Academy. Both are very supportive of like, what event. is this finish the event to receive the okay that light cone is actually really cool i like that record, sound hunt. i like and that super position materials as reward i like that light cone i like the look of that uh, furthermore as an outstanding band manager the honorable baseball bat ninja is responsible for resolving the members emotional struggles and inspiring the entire band to work together harmoniously i suppose it's to be expected 
Band members often have their share of uncertainties and frustrations. Mm -hmm. It's only natural. So long as no one leaves the band, drops out of school, or starts lying to each other, everything will be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps the band will experience a whirlwind of emotions. So where does Herta play into this? Going through tears. I'm wondering why Herta's here. Successfully pulling off I can understand Doctor Ratio a little Rest bit. Rest assured, everyone, I'll be giving it my all every step of the way. So, is there any other intriguing content in version 2.6, or is that all? That's not Mr. Cold Feet's pop-up shop, okay. The trailblazer Yay, we can get more pace. Familiar face it's Sampo. Once Shirello 6 was reconnected to the Silver Rail, our old friend Sampo took a trip beyond the stars and stumbled upon a new business opportunity. Okay. He's gearing up to open a Mr. Cold Feet store. Which deals in memes, and he's inviting the Trailblazer to invest and make a fortune. Without a doubt, Sampo is Yorillo Six's ultimate wheeler dealer. Uh, I wouldn't trust any money making schemes that come from a masked fool. Rest assured, old Sampo might have So, what, is the, what does this entail? You never deceive the Trailblazer. During the Mr. Coldfeed store event, okay. all the Trailblazer needs to do is submit different materials to Sampo each day. Synthesize me. So it's just leaving. Collect dividends. Plus, you'll be able to see what buyers from all corners of the universe have to say about the merchandise. So he only spares the trailblazer from his tricks? <laughs> <laughs> According to the rumors, Shadow of the Ranger. Cold feet full ninja. Baseball bat ninja will be entrusted with another special task from Win Chi Chi in version 2.6. Don't tell me. It's another wanted notice for Boot Hill. Yep. Uh, given that Boot Hill's bounty keeps rising, it's no wonder everyone is searching for him. The objective of this assignment is to collect information on the recent happenings of the Galaxy Rangers. It's the, okay, so it's it's the return of this man for sure. Okay. The Trailblazer must come. Why do we have so much Boot Hill, but not a Boot Hill rerun? Galaxy Rangers, plural. Seems like Rappa is also under investigation. Where the galaxy range okay go, i mean it's a freebie event <laughs> so so far we've only had one really big playable event in addition to these events version 2.6 will bring us another a okay third simulated universe dlc update okay storm disaster and golden gears this time a massive void known as the unknowable domain has appeared within the simulation. I can dig this. A sim what universe is actually a lot of fun. I wish I could do more of it. Of simulating a historical event I wish I could do more of it because I actually do have fun with it. When it comes to collecting everything. Uh, hang on a second. That's uh, far too many confusing ninja phrases to understand. <sighs> Treating this kind of mental sluggishness takes more than a day. Albert please provide a more detailed explanation for everyone <laughs> i get it after all it's a research topic that only geniuses would so understand. that's where herda comes into play <laughs> and this time there's also some juicy gossip about madame herda hmm? the so what exactly is the scholar strife <laughs> it's quite a long story <laughs> after emperor rupert ii's death Many scholarly factions fought tooth and nail for his legacy. <laughs> the right to distribute and use the scepter system's computational resources. So what are we actually going to be able to do the differently? Is a cluster of like what's, what's the play for this? Created by Rupert II. It functioned as his external thinking unit and had incredible processing capacity. After the Second Emperor's War, numerous intact scepter units were handed over to the Intelligentsia Guild by the IPC for research. For scholars, even gaining access to just 1% or even one ten thousandth of the system's computational power would drastically reduce the difficulty of their research and significantly speed up their results. This disparity in productivity is what ultimately fueled the scholar's strife. As for the unknowable domain, it involves... Is that the five-star Herda design? Herda. I don't know. It could be. Talk about this, madam. I have nothing to be ashamed of. And I wouldn't exactly label it as a rumor either. Even for a genius such as myself, the journey of scientific research is not. But it could be challenges. cool. My research goal is to expand the total knowledge of the universe, 
Can we get to the point of this simulating? Bro, I maybe I'm just getting more impatient as time goes on. But what is this? What is going on with this live stream, dude? Time to time. And I believe that this unknowable domain is one of those inexplicable obstacles. It's preventing us from gaining specific knowledge and unearthing a particular part of history. Correct. Thus, the great Madam Herder has decided to simulate the Scepter System, resurrect Emperor Ruber II, and add a fifth collaborator to the simulated universe in order to push past this research bottleneck. Like, Let's get straight to the point. Yes! I need the Trailblazer's help to gather data on the Scepter. As a result, the combat rules in this simulated universe will be completely different from the previous ones. Okay, but how? In the simulated universe, unknowable domain, the Trailblazer's combat buffs, will be centered on the Scepter and its components. Okay. The Trailblazer can acquire and equip up to three Scepters, each possessing unique offensive effects and charging conditions. In combat, once specific conditions are met, a Scepter can be activated to deliver powerful <sighs> attacks on the enemy. During exploration, you can also acquire components and decision components that can be equipped onto the scepter, creating extraordinary combo effects during combat. Oh, and how exactly do components differ from decision components? Components provide significant boost to the effects of the scepter. Decision components, on the other hand, are rarer and, when equipped, greatly increase the frequency of which the scepter can be used while also creating powerful synergy okay. between multiple scepters. I can kind of dig it. It looks like ninja formations and ninjutsu tactics are way more versatile now. Oh, you can also combine the scepter thing is kind of cool. Create higher tier ones, granting more significant combat boosts. Okay. Overriding components to change their type is also possible in specific domains. During the initial phase of exploration, the trailblazer can collect scepters in different domains and equip them with suitable components to enhance their power. Very in tired. Into late phase, the trailblazer can strategically combine scepters and components, creating powerful synergies between multiple scepters to defeat the final formidable foe. Oh, you I can actually activate. Trailblazer oh wait, no, I see what it is. Now. I see what it is. It's it's Go time just like normal, and it automatically tests. happens. And be sure I receive a report as well. Furthermore, in version 2.6, like, oh. the simulated universe store will be updated with light cones and superimposition materials. Hey, yo! Good job! That's sick! Good job. That's a win. That's a win for new players. That's an absolute win for new players. Now, let's take a short break, and we'll keep the show going when we're back. I'm not gonna lie. These, uh... These events be kind of dookie better. Outside of uh, outside of simulated universe, uh, the new simulated universe is cool. I dig that. Um, however, I think that overall, uh, is it this this live stream has not been good. I'm I, I'm gonna say it, and maybe I'm the crazy one for thinking that. That positive update quality of life. I I don't I it depends on the quality of life update. We're gonna hear this very, very soon. They're gonna get to the quality of life updates, but I will say, I will say the getting the light cones and the materials for it is actually a huge win for new players. Absolute win for new players. But that's it. It doesn't help someone like me who's already gotten all of them. But unless I can get another copy, that'd be sick. Welcome back, y'all. In version 2.6, we have some new materials to introduce to everyone. All right. Stagnant Shadow Shape of Timber will be going live soon, and by successfully beating it, you can obtain essential materials for imaginary characters. Okay. Cavern of Corrosion. Path of Uncertainty is also set to launch. We got new relics. To be rewarded with two relic sets. Secure doses, relived ordeal, and scholar lost in erudition. So we got an erudition focused the Garden one. Of Plenty event will be Garden of Plenty, okay. Planar Fisher will likewise support double rewards. Let's go. Up next is the Gift of Odyssey. Like rewards, it's Gift of Odyssey. Odyssey. Get you can never. <laughs> Not bad, Albert. It seems like you've unknowingly learned the ninja mantra. All right, everyone. That brings us to the end of this episode. Really? Time to say goodbye to everyone. That's it? We'll see you all at Paper Bowl University. And that's a wrap. Bye-bye. Bye. Farewell. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <Bye. laughs>
Hold on. I think there might be more. Hold on. Hey, yo, yo. It's a special program coming at you live with something sublime. Uh, why are we rapping all of a sudden? This is the Ninja Mantra Special Mastery Edition. Now, put your betters together for the IPM's cutest host, a.k.a. Fat Beak. It's Albert's time to shine. Albert on the grind, overtime, master of even rhymes, hooker for promotion, got the pay they weigh on my mind. Storm birds, the golden days, everything's so fair and brief. I'm losing my mind, am I less to the IPC? Pay the duct tape, you're the rap game, barely sleeping. What, what is this? Like, what is, what is the whole Master all into depth. Nope, it's still going. I, I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I normally don't do that. But this, this literally, this live stream has ticked me off. It, it, it feels... I get having fun. I get that. And they probably thought that this was going to be amazingly fun and everything like that. But it literally just came up. Hold on. The Express is Hold approaching on. its destination. Hold on. Next stop, Paperfold University. Please ensure you have all your personal belongings with you. The Mapo age is about to begin. Oh, why did I do that? Now, is that it? Is that it? For okay. It's it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to just be that guy. Um, that live stream sucked. I, I I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna. This is the first negative, like feedback I have for a Honkai Star Rail live stream. Like, I I'm very easy to please when it comes to live streams. I I really am. That was just horrid. Like, I feel like they took. Who was first live stream and they tried to top it like they tried to go you know what let's make a even worse live stream i'm disappointed i thought it like it was just terrible like i ha i hate being negative i if this gets me in trouble with all your words i don't care um i want to be constructive i don't think that the bird stuff was the right way to go. Honestly, if you would have taken that out, my bad mood would have probably not even happened. I probably would have been like, yeah, it was an okay live stream. It wasn't that great. But honestly, that put me in a bad mood. And I can tell you right now from what I've been seeing on, you know, Twitter and seeing people talk about it, because I was looking at Twitter on the side, nobody was a fan of that. I think that just, it was too draggy. Get to the point. You could have made this literally just a 15 minute live stream. It, it's, it's honest to God. If I had feedback that was just not, if I had good feedback, the reruns are good. The reruns are fantastic. And it makes me think like maybe people shouldn't skip. Not They should skip Rappa. I don't think Rappa is going to be that big of a deal, even in regards to pure fiction. But I don't know. I, I got to look more into her abilities and see what's going on. When it comes to, you know, everything else, the events are just kind of meh. Um, the simulated universe stuff is pretty cool. I do like the fact that we're getting a new simulated universe. I do like simulated universe. I think it is fun. It's great in-game content in my personal opinion. Um, but just the whole rapping stuff, like I get it. Rappa rap. She's a ninja. I get that whole thing, right? I don't mind that, but came off a little too strong at the end. Came off a little too like, you could have seriously did a teaser for, like, Ting Yun and Sunday because you made it a big thing to wait until the freaking live stream or before the live stream to even announce Ting Yun. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting negative. I need, I need to take time to really, like, gather my thoughts. But honestly, this was not a good live stream. Outside of just the reruns um, and the, you know, simulated universe stuff this this wasn't it i'm i'm disappointed so anyways uh that's gonna be it for the video itself don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know what you thought about this or do you think that i just don't understand the whole brain rock culture i don't know um or just say you know it wasn't really that bad it's possible that i'm overreacting but i don't think i am i think that this was a big miss 
I think this could have been the worst, well, one of the worst live streams from any gotcha company this year. That's just me. Anyways, that's going to be it. Love you all to death. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.